Malanga, taro root, is probably one of the most hypoallergenic foods in the world, making it one of the most easily digested of all complex carbohydrates. But besides all that, Malanga soup is incredibly delicious and healthy. Serve this creamy soup with any meal. Hi, I'm Jessica from One Click To Know. Here's a simple and delicious recipe that anybody can make. Let's get started. Here's what we will need. Two and a half pounds malanga or taro root, peeled and diced. One medium chopped onion. Three cloves garlic, chopped. Juice from half a lime, this is optional. Two tablespoons of butter. Half a cup light cream. Salt and pepper to taste and four cups of chicken or vegetable or beef broth. I've cut my malanga into two inch cubes. I've also chopped my onions, my garlic, and now I'm going to add them into my simmering broth. You're gonna boil the malanga with the onion and garlic in the broth for about 35 minutes. Keep an eye on the boiling malanga, and if needed, add more broth. Thirty-five minutes have gone by, and I'm going to check if my malangas are tender. Here we go. Yes. They seem to be just as I want them to be. So we're going to get ready to blend them. It smells delicious. We are now ready to blend our malanga. You don't want to put too much of your malanga soup inside the blender because it is very hot and when you're blending hot liquids you need to make sure you have a vent so that the steam can escape. Okay? We're going to do this on low. And just watch it and if it starts to clump up, we want to add a little bit faster speed. We blended our malanga, and now we're going to place it in our pot to simmer. We're going to add our cream. I'm going to stir that in. We're also going to add the butter, which is two tablespoons of butter, and a pinch of salt just for taste. And you're going to let that simmer there until that butter melts and that cream is really nicely incorporated into that malanga broth that we had made and blended. It smells amazing. I wish you guys were here. We've now plated our malanga soup and have garnished it with basil and two slices of French bread toasted with a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper for taste. Now that comes my favorite part is tasting it. Let's see how good this is. Oh, this is really, really good. Can't wait till you try and make this. It's a uh, wow. For One Click to Know, this is Jessica with another delicious and easy recipe. Keep watching, we're always adding new recipes. Till next time.